same thing. You know, look at the book of Enoch. It's nonsense. It's just this mumbo jumbo, blah, blah, blah. It goes on. I just barely glanced at it. And I saw this one part that people have often quoted, you know, the, this whole teaching of the hybrid human angel thing, which is not biblical. But basically it said that these women, you know, that had these, uh, these uh, relations with angels or whatever, this false doctrine, it said that they beget children that were 300 cubits tall. <laughs> That's pretty tall. Now you say, well, I don't know what a cubit is. A cubit is a foot and a half. Okay, now turn if you would to 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Because 1 Samuel 17 tells us about a man who was a giant, right? Uh, Goliath. And the Bible talks about the men who were the Anakims, the sons of the giant. And it talks about Sihon and Og, king of Bashan, king of the Amorites. And it talks about how big their bed was. It talks about how tall they were. And when the Bible talks about these giants, it actually gives us a size associated with it. Okay, Look how tall Goliath was. It says in verse number 4, There went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. Six cubits, that would be about nine and a half feet, and a span, uh, talking about the size of someone's hand. So what we're talking about is someone who's just a little over nine and a half feet tall. That's what the Bible's talking about, giants. It's not talking about a guy who's 450 feet tall. Okay, a 45-story building. Think about a 45-story building. I mean, imagine giving birth to that. That's going to be a cesarean. You know what I mean? Can you imagine?